Alright guys, so first fire was with the char cloth I already had. Uh, the one we just did with the birch bark was the char cloth that I just made. Uh, as will be this one. I'm going to go back to the traditional method using my flint and steel kit from my mountains man kit and the char cloth that we just made. So we'll uh, strike this, add it to our cedar bark tinder bundle and uh, get that one to flame. Two hits, not bad. Again, add it right to the center of that fluffy stuff that we made. Push it down in there. Again, folding it in on itself like a taco, just a little bit. And add oxygen. That's where you could tell this was a, actually a perfect bird's nest and tinder bundle. Again, the cedar burns so hot, just like the birch bark. And that'll give you a lot of time, even if you had, you know, a little marginal tinder to begin with, or, or kindling. Turn that thing over on itself. Uh, throw your small stuff on top of that, and you definitely have a fire. Alright guys, so thanks for joining me for another video on flint and steel fires, a couple different techniques there, uh, three different types of tinder bundles, a bird's nest, whatever you want to call it. Uh, hopefully you learned something from this one, like the rest of them. I uh, appreciate your views, comments, all your support, appreciate everything you do for me, my school, my store, uh, me and my family both appreciate it very much, so thank you, and until the next one, take care guys.